Rivers, dams and wetlands are all natural resources that not only play an essential role in maintaining natural ecosystems, but also provide water for agricultural irrigation and human consumption. However, these water systems are under constant threat of pollution. It is the job of limnologist Dr. Paul Oeberholster to understand how these water systems function and what is preventing them from functioning as they should. I'm Dr. Paul Oeberholster. I'm a limnologist at the CSIR. A limnologist is somebody that works specifically on aquatic systems. These systems include wetlands, rivers and dams. In limnology, we look at different systems. These systems include microorganisms in the food chain, ending up with fish at the highest level. And the impact on these organisms by natural causes, which include floods or climate change, or due to human impact, normally known as anthropogenic pollution. At the CSR, Limnologists form part of a bigger multidisciplinary team when we start looking at water catchment levels to monitor your biotic and abiotic factors. In the Willifans catchment situated in Mapumalanga, one of the most polluted rivers in Southern Africa, we determined that the impact was caused on the food chain and on the ecosystem due to anthropogenic pollution. These impacts were acid mine drainage, acid rain and nutrient enrichment affecting the ecosystem on catchment level. Pollution at a certain point in a river can have an effect on water quality downstream and can also contain waterborne diseases that can affect human health. To become a limnologist, you need to study a BSc degree with botany, zoology and chemistry as possible subjects. Postgraduate studies need to be done abroad since limnology is not anymore lectured or presented in South Africa as a subject. The advantages of a limnologist working at the CSR is that you work in a multidisciplinary team which enhance your results of your research. 